<coughs> hey guys, it's Andy here. I'm gonna try to run through as much stuff as I can for this, my uh, November 2011 update video. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of stuff to go through, so bear with me if this video is pretty long. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the Love Heat Up Bridge series. Um, I recently put out the cast video because the uh, auditions closed at the end of last month. And uh, I recently got in touch with the cast on Skype yesterday. We uh, just bounced around ideas, got to know each other, you know, stuff like that. And I'm really looking forward to starting things up. Um, I, I think we got a really great cast. And uh, I want to make this a more collaborative series, like I said, so it's not just me writing and edit editing and then them doing the funny voices. So uh, I think that's really going to show in the final product. You know, you know they'll they'll make the characters. You know, I just write for them, but you know they'll make the characters basically. So um, another thing, uh, I, I'm also looking around for little for uh, people to do bit parts here and there. I'm not going to hold auditions or anything like that because that would just take too long and. Most of them are either like one shot, two shot characters, or they have maybe five lines or so per episode, depending on who the character is, obviously. So holding auditions for those would be kind of silly. And uh, if it's just a little one shot, two shot characters, I'll just have the main cast do it, or I might do it. And uh, for reoccurring characters, I'll probably privately contact people people I, that I think that can do the voices, uh, do them justice. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, there's that. Also, uh, before I stop talking about that, uh, the first episode is still scheduled to be out by the end of November, uh, pending any kind of difficulties, you know, technical or personal. Uh, but I am shooting for an end of November, very early December release for the first episode. And I'll try to keep them going on a monthly basis. So there's that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the Simple Plan incident that I had last week. Um, if you've been following me on Google Plus and uh, Twitter, which uh, links will be in the down bar, you'll know that uh, I got kicked out of the House of Blues uh, after I paid for my non-refundable ticket, of course, <laughs> match, um, because I had a camera. Uh, specifically, er, <laughs> this camera. It's a San Yozaki SH1. Pretty nice camera. I've had it for about a year now, and it's, my, it's been my main camera for recording live events. And it's really good. You know, for the money, I definitely recommend it. But uh, anyway, uh, I got kicked out because I had a video camera, and it's their policy, according to them, that. They don't allow cameras with detachable lenses and uh, video cameras to be brought in. They allow normal point shoots and cell phones, but they don't allow like legit video cameras. Which I mean, I understand for the professional cameras. You know, they don't want them like bumping into people or having them break because you know the equipment's pretty expensive. So I can understand that. But video cameras, unless it's like one of the big over-the-shoulder things, you know, which again is a bumping hazard, and whatnot. I mean, if it's just this, I mean, this is only slightly bigger than a normal point and shoot, and it's actually a lot more stable because of the extra strap. So I mean, if somebody were to bump me when I'm doing it, just that's worst-case scenario because I normally have it wrapped around my fingers a bazillion times to make sure that it doesn't fall out. So. I mean, unless somebody, like, knocks me down. Or if somebody just, like, bumps me really hard and I let go, you got sideways video. That's worst case scenario. So anyway, uh, getting to my point, uh, there was a Newfound Glory concert coming up. I recently discovered the band. Uh, they've been around for a while, but uh, recently discovered them. Really wanted to go, but due to House of Blues policy and not letting me in with that camera, um, I'm probably not going to be going. So I'm going to be going instead to uh, Jake Shimabukuru's concert at Anthology on the 19th of this month. And uh, I really look forward to watching him. Uh, he came by last year, but I didn't get a chance to see him. It was in the middle of the week, and yeah, it was just crazy. 
so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing him live. So, uh, and Anthology is a, a really great venue, especially for uh, instrumentalists. Uh, they really know how to mic stuff up there. As far as vocals go, eh, it's a little, a little iffy, you know. But you know, when it comes to instruments, top notch, top notch. And they allow cameras. They don't really mind so much. Uh, in fact, I see often a lot of very professional setups, and I don't, I don't think they have uh, press passes. I think it's just you know, fans or you know, fan, you know, their fan club or whatever that have the huge setups, and they just hit record, and you know, that's that. Or they take little snapshots, little pictures and stuff. And yeah, so I don't think you know they don't mind me too much with this. Anyway, there's that, and uh, before I get off on the whole concert thing, I do want to give a special shout out to Blabbermouth.net for uh, embedding my uh, Megadeth Guitar Clinic videos on their website. Uh, definitely gotta thank you guys for the uh, extra views and for uh, giving attention to my videos, so I definitely appreciate that. Um, if any, any of you guys out there want to do, do the same, uh, feel free to, I don't mind. Uh, the thing that I do ask is that you credit me, you know, either as, you know, this video was brought to us by Andy Son, and you can find his page at youtube.com slash Andy Son, or whatever. Just had a shout out to my website, which is something that lets them know that, you know, I recorded it. Uh, but anyway, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is my Tentacle Difficulties EP that I've been trying to record for the past couple months now. And, uh, Right now it's kind of on hiatus because I got a whole bunch of other product projects and stuff and I'm going to be going home for Christmas so I got a lot on my plate near the end of the year and uh, Tentacle Difficulties is one of the things that got pushed aside. Um, I'm hoping to bring it back sometime next year, you know, when my schedule clears up a bit, but for now it's kind of mothballed and one of the things that's been holding me back is writing lyrics. I, have a real big problem writing lyrics and stuff, so hoping to bring it back, the uh, project back next year, but for now it's just kind of pushed aside. So, yeah, there's that. And the last thing I want to talk about is my NFAX and Navy related videos. Now, I know that a lot of you guys out there subscribe to my channel specifically because I'm in the Navy and I talk about Navy stuff. And I definitely appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys. But, um, that's not all of what I do. I don't want to make this channel strictly Navy stuff. You know, it's basically my per personal channel, essentially, and yes, the Navy is part of my life, but it's not my entire life, you know, it's not my complete focus. You know, I do other things, like play guitar, and go to concerts, and, you know, do scripts for shows, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, as far as NFX goes, the reason I pretty much mothballed it was because I was running out of unique questions. Uh, most of the questions I was getting were like boot camp related stuff, or they were either very specific, or they were pretty much you know the same question I already answered. You know, what's boot camp like? And how much do you have to weigh if you're such and such height and such and such years old and stuff like that? So um, I think I. Pretty much thoroughly answered them in my previous NFAX, so I think it would be a big disservice to the series if I were to pretty much answer the same old questions over and over and over again. And uh, some may argue that I already did, but uh, yeah, semantics, semantics. Uh, anyway, so I'm hoping to actually start up the series again once I get out to the fleet, so I'll actually be able to answer questions out there, you know. Within reason, of course, you know, there's some things I obviously can't talk about, uh, but, you know, basic shipboard life, uh, different ports and stuff, I can definitely do, for the most part, uh, and I'm hoping to revive it then, so. And for my random Navy videos, uh, like I said before, they're pretty much random, so, um, they're on a, you know, case-by-case -case basis, I guess. Uh, I don't really have too much control over the scheduling of the videos. I don't have a lot of... They, they don't give me a lot of time's notice to tell you guys, you know, Hey, this thing's coming up. Look forward to it. Or stuff like that. So they just come when they come, and...
if I'm able to record them, then I'll record them, but there's also times where I can't sit there and record with my camcorder, you know, there's times I have to sit down, stand up, and do the whole shebang, so, uh, yeah, but if I can record a special Navy event, then I will, but, you know, they come when they come, basically, <laughs> I don't have any control over that, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, so yeah, this is the Andy song, yep. signing off for now, thank you guys for tuning in to this long video, apologize for the length, but I had a lot of stuff to talk about, so, yeah, also gotta thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, and as always, we'll see you next time, later guys.